Hello everyone. Um, today we will have a, a short tour around my exhibition on landscape uh, photography and poetry. This is my first uh, project. I curated myself. I uh, managed everything uh, by myself, so you can call it one of my projects. Uh, of course, uh, this would not uh, be possible without uh, the amazing work uh, that people sent me. Um, today what we're going to do is take a short tour around the exhibition space that you can see here. And before that, I would like to tell you a couple of, uh, of words about my curatorial um, approach uh, for this uh, first uh, pilot exhibition. First of all, I wanted to highlight uh, the fact that all art uh, comes from amateur artists and therefore challenge the notion of the artist as a professional practitioner of art who has all the equipment to create exactly professional art. Um, the second, uh, second focus of my exhibition was that I wanted uh, to highlight everyday life in the city of Maastricht in the Netherlands and its surroundings and challenge people to see probably um, everyday life in the city in a way that they haven't seen before. And that is through the lens of photography, of photography and uh, through poetry. So let's start our tour. This is the first picture that you encounter when you enter uh, the exhibition. It's a cemetery, as you can all see. Um, I really like uh, the sunset and the snow. It gives a secret aura to the picture. After, uh, underneath, sorry, its picture you will find a label uh, with the name of the artist, the title, the year that the picture was made and the location. So, quite a strong picture. I chose it because it's in the entrance and I wanted to prepare people for what, for what will follow. Sorry for the reflection, but it's because of my camera. I'm taking a little bit back to see this uh, because it's right uh, when you enter the venue. Uh, this is a box I created so that people uh, could drop their feet back inside and the poems or the short stories that they created. Um, we will talk about the poems and the short stories in a short while as we navigate through the, the space. So I continue from where we started. Um, here you see the poems. I will go a little bit closer. Um, you see that some uh, authors are starting to duplicate. This is of course on purpose. I printed out four copies of each poem so that in case that more people wanted the same poem they could grasp their own um, their own copy. And right next to the poems you can see the instructions about the game that I slightly talked about before. So mainly what the people were called to do is grab a poem, go around the exhibition, match the poem with a picture that they thought relates to them the most and then write their own story behind it or even their own poem. And here they could get a piece of paper and a pen, sit there comfortably, look at the poems, look at the pictures around and just be creative. So just a call for people to participate. I'm going further and here we see a picture by another artist, uh, quite intense. Um, this is located in the center of Maastricht. Uh, it's always full of posters, you know, some crude, uh, graffiti around, quite interesting, uh, quite interesting um, perspective of the city and its landscape. Um, quite interesting also in the white wall, that's why I chose uh, to put it here alone. Next to the window also, quite some light coming in. I continue uh, with those ones. Um, those are from the same artist, uh, they definitely refer to um, the city as an everyday landscape, as an everyday uh, place so where people come in contact with even these fierce weather conditions that you can see on the right picture. On the left is a typical Dutch uh, thing <laughs> with the cows and the wild weather and this green grass growing timidly from underneath as the spring is coming closer. And uh, I continue on my left Again, um, a quite intense picture on a wall alone. This is the same uh, artist as a picture with the posters. Uh, some black and white gates. I really like the black and white effect for this wall. And we continue on this wall. I chose these four works. They are by the same artist, as you can probably understand from the low horizon. 
Um, the first one uh, for me uh, reflects spring, so after the passage of the storm. Here we see a little bit of a more contemplative mood uh, with one person sitting in front of the wide blue sky. Here you can see there is some snow. And here there is, uh, there is sun again. Um, it's quite interesting because I think that this picture so four phases of the, um, of the, of the, spri of the spring and of the, um, of the seasons and I thought they fit quite interesting in this wall next to the window, light is coming in and right next to it there is a black and white picture so it makes this quite interesting just a position between each other. I continue with this wall. Uh, in this wall we have two artists, two works by one on the left, two works by the other on the right. The first one um, is made in the near the new bridge of Maastricht. Um, it's in the center of the city. You can see how the old houses behind and the old buildings actually um, merge with the modern ones on the left. This is actually the municipality of Maastricht and also the fisherman in the middle. Um, quite interesting perspective. I also think that uh, people are really like that. And this is a quite modern perspective of the city. You can see the modern bridge, uh, the lights, it's night. You, you will be late somewhere if you take that road. Quite interesting. Um, this is picture made at uh, Freithof. It's a central square of Maastricht, uh, a meeting spot, uh, um, a place where all the major events take place, like the Christmas market, like um, markets in general, various fairs, etc. And uh, this is the street where the Faculty of Social Sciences is, uh, where I'm currently studying actually. Uh, applied with some filter on it, um, quite interesting, quite busy day, the street gets to, to tense, sorry, to get really, really busy, very vital part of the city. Um, here you can see the view from outside, from the windows, some chairs where people can relax while being in the exhibition, well, they were quite, um, quite useful for the opening, I can tell. Um, again here, quite intense picture, quite ambivalent actually to the reactions of people. Some people came to me and they asked me, why did you choose this picture? Some other people hate it, some other people said, I understand why you selected it. Um, things like this, uh, very interesting because uh, my goal for this exhibition was to start um, a dialogue. So. Um, trigger people to engage into um, a dialogue with their surroundings but also with the pictures and, they are, and the people around them about what they see and what they like or they don't like. So it was really interesting to see so much reaction from people for all kinds of pictures in this exhibition. And I really think that it worked quite well with my selection to, to create this whole framework within which a story about Maastricht and its surroundings could fit in. And uh, we are closing um, slowly uh, with these two uh, pictures, uh, also uh, one, uh, some of my, two of my favorites actually. Um, this one um, is, uh, in my opinion, portraying very simply and very intensely the reality of our modern life, so construction and then the vastness of nature behind, staying silent yet so impressive. And then next to it, a nice um, juxtaposition, you could call, a more natural landscape that implies some loneliness, some darkness, but also some freedom, as many people told me. So that was it. I hope it was not too much for you. And um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to guide you through my, my next project, which will be soon, I believe, because I was really excited about creating uh, this one from scratch. And uh, yes, see you then. Bye bye.